What's going on, everyone? It's TV, and we're back in Tower Heroes. Uh, yeah, we are going to get the Seek skin, dude, because I already got it. I'll show you right here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Right there it is. There it is. That's the Seek skin. I already got it, but I'm going to be giving you a full walkthrough on how to get this skin, and I'm also going to be showing you a couple other things. So I'm going to show you the skin, how it looks in action. It's actually really, really cool. Um, unfortunately, I don't have Branch, man. I don't have Branch. I'm not that far away from getting it, but that's going to be a little bit of work. So uh, I'm just going to be showing you someone else's branch with seek skin so you can check out the new skin and how it looks in action like i said also i'm going to be getting the awesome awesome jeff skin here i'm going to show you that as well i'm also showing you the rush skin i forgot to do that i forgot to show you the actual rush skin for cart kid where's cart kid so i forgot to show you this one it's actually pretty cool he actually turns into like rush and then ambush that's why it is called rush i had no idea i should have showed you in that last video sorry about that we're gonna have to beat void in order to be able to get this skin but before i show you all this please do be solid hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel let's get into it so first things first in order to get the seek skin it is a hidden skin okay so what you got to do you're going to go over to servers so start a server create server you're going to go into adventure mode and then you're going to go to theme you're going to select doors just like you would any other so in order to be able to get the adventure rush skin that's how you get the rush skin right this time what you're going to do is you're going to do something a little tricky um i'm surprised this actually works it shouldn't work but what you need to do is mid-match, you're gonna start the match, you're gonna go to your desktop, you're going to adjust your time right here, and then um, if it's set to automatically, just go turn that off and then change your time. And then you're going to switch it to 12 a.m. Okay. So make sure when you're launching though, you don't mess with the time or else it's going to lock. You won't be able to do anything. It, it will literally freeze you up. So just, just to know, you kind of have to do this after the game launches. Otherwise, if the time is incorrect, it won't be able to do the lobby thing. I learned that the hard way, man. I learned that the hard way. So uh, yeah, what you're going to do is you're going to switch it to this. Make sure it's AM, not PM. A lot of people are doing PM for some reason because they don't understand that uh, midnight is actually 12 AM. And then you're going to change this to zeros. And then after you do that, the text on the screen, you're going to hear this like burn, kind of like a clock. <laughs> And then um, the screen warnings and text should change to yellow, which is pretty easy to see um, whenever you're doing waves and the, when it's talking to you, uh, that's what's gonna happen. So as you can see here, it went from blue to yellow. Make sure you set this time. I would just do it like as soon as you can before like wave 10, just so you don't forget. Cause if it's too late, then it's too late. So just do it before it's too late. Um, I don't know what the exact time for this. Some people are saying it's wave 10, 12, 17. You know, I've, I'm just gonna say right now before wave 10, you're safe. And um, here's a thing. So one thing that we noticed, like we had like a really, really, really close round. I'm gonna show you the end of this match right here. Uh, we had a really, really, really good round on this particular map. Um, in fact, let me show you the map real quick. So this is the map we were on and you can see it's got like a really nice like it's got like nice bends and curves to it. So we were able to set up like our Quinns. We had um, Quinn, we had scientists, and we had a, actually a pretty good build out. So we set it up this way because what happens is um, when you do this time change, instead of getting figure, you're going to get void. Okay, so at wave 40, you're going to get void. It eats your towers, dude. So what happens is if um, your towers are in the void, it's just this black fog. I'm gonna show you this whole process right now. I'm gonna walk you through it. So see this black fog, it is approaching your towers. You need to delete and sell those towers before the void eats it. If the void eats it, it actually turns your um, tower into another void runner that you have to now destroy. So instead of doing damage to the big void, you're doing damage to the little voids that it's spawning from your tower. So if it eats a tower, it's gonna spawn one into the lane. You don't want that, okay? Make sure you sell your stuff. Uh, make sure everyone knows to sell their stuff before it gets too far in the um, lane because otherwise you're done for. I mean, it's really, really hard to uh, beat. I know some people that are really experienced in uh, Tower Heroes are like, dude, DB was so easy. But for us, it took multiple attempts, okay? So this map was beautiful for us. Um, if you can find a map like this, this is the hotel map. Y you know, you could try this straight away. I didn't like the straight away because you can't get that range on those towers. And if it's bendy, it slows down void. It's just way better for this map. It's way better for this challenge. So um, you're gonna need to destroy void. In this case, we actually finally beat him thanks to Slime King. Um, uh, Zombie had uh, spawned a Slime King and clutched it at the end. I thought we died, dude. I thought we actually lost.
and instead of losing, we actually won. And here it is. We got the Seek. That's right. We got the Seek skin um, from doing this. Now, if you're on mobile, by the way, I think you can still change your time and do this whole process. You just kind of, I, I don't know how that's going to work if you get disconnected or whatnot. But as long as you can change the time on your mobile device, I'm sure it works the same exact way. So let me know in the comments below if it does work for you in uh, on mobile. Uh, but again, it's 12 a.m., not 12 p.m. It's midnight is the time you're going to set it to. And then... Um, I'm just going to show you what he looks like because he's actually really freaking cool, dude. So level one is just a little eyeball. Level two is going to be the multiple eyes. So you see the three eyes here. And then level three is going to be this little um, splotch of just slime, you know, his goo. And then level four is my favorite, dude. Look at this. It, it's actually like him rising out of that like oily goo that he rises out of. And uh, dude, it looks it looks so cool. Look at like it's just the animations, everything about it looks awesome. And then level four, he actually just standing. It's like he's in his run mode. I know that's like his, you know, usual inside the game is his final um, evolution where he's kind of like standing. I didn't I, I didn't think he was this cool. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think this version is cooler, like level four versus level five? Like, let me know which one do you like. But yeah, my favorite was level four. He just looks cooler. Also, when he's attacking enemies, he does this like screech, like he yells, like his, you know, like you know how like Zeke does his scream. He does the same thing at enemies while he's attacking. Also, check out my look at my ambush right here. He's just cruising. So uh, yeah, these are the different evolutions I'm gonna show you right now. This is level one. He's just a little dude. It is randomized, which is really cool. Like I showed you last time, they're like random dudes each time you spawn. And then if you upgrade, it's the bed. This is L Splash. And then level three, it's he's in a closet. He's a hider. Level four. And level five is finally looking inside the closet in the greenhouse. So as part of this, you do get the hidden badge. I'm going to show you that on screen right now. So this is, you can see I got the hidden badge in Tower Heroes. And if you go into the doors game here, you're going to see if you go over to the achievements thing, you don't get a badge indoors, but you do get an achievement, which you can set as a title on your um, your profile, but it's called the Void Buster. It says, I ain't afraid of no void. And you get uh, 500 knobs, which is a lot. And you also get a free revive. Pretty awesome, dude. All right, so let's place down Jeff. I'm going to show you all the different levels. So he starts out with like this little, um, looks like a little chest or something. Looking out, he's so cute, dude. The eyes, they kind of reminded me of DB eyes, man. They do. All right, so let's upgrade him. So this is level two. He's in a drawer. He's like a little nightstand. He's got the lighter on the top, some papers. Looks like he's got a little bit of the vitamins, some change here. Let's upgrade him again. He's in now in a closet. He's got some of that stuff still. Oh, he's got a lock pick. That's cool. Some gold. Upgrade him again. This is level four. And you can see he's got like a little sign. He's starting his business out. He's starting his business. That's so cool. And then finally, we got Jeff's shop. This is the max level. And he's got his actual shop from doors. That's so cool, dude. Man. How cool is that, man? So awesome. Anyway, that's going to be it for us. If you have any questions or tips you want to share, please do so in the comments below. I'm also still working on the rest of the missing stuff. I'm missing a lot of like stickers. I'm missing a bunch of followers. I'm missing like the void one. So we got to do the void again to get those. We're missing a lot of followers. So I'm going to be grinding the followers. And also I think that uh, there's like another jump scare that I, I don't have yet. So we're going to have to grind for that too, dude. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy grinding. Peace.